are taking you a little outside of our usual zone. Not our comfort zone, but our geographical zone. North to Baltimore's Federal Hill Inner Harbor area to the American Visionary Art Museum. Rebecca Hofberger founded this treasure 18 years ago and remains today its passionate director. Well, I'm privileged to be the founder of the American Visionary Art Museum, located right in the heart of the Baltimore Harbor. And it has been called by many the most healing place they've ever been. Fun too. Well, we've been open to the public for 18 years, and I had the idea for the museum back in 1984, so it's been a long labor of love. Mm -hmm. The artists, tell us about uh, the various artists. Well, they're kind of like, like you and me. They're just regular people. Many of them don't even think of themselves as artists, like our three-ton farmer whirly gig maker, uh, yet who made an extraordinary work of art. So they're self-taught, intuitive, and sometimes when the life experience is too big for words, it comes out as very powerful art. Mm -hmm. And so self-taught is part of the criteria here? Uh, yes, that creative self-alliance, we don't say if you went to art school for a month, you're damaged goods, you know, mm -hmm. but uh, we're looking for people, not looking for us. We're looking for people who have spent 30 years building the Garden of Eden in their backyard. We're looking for that truck driver who's been welding parts with his wife for years, you know. We're, we're really looking for creative invention in all its manifestations, not even just merely as works of art, but as fresh thought. Mm -hmm. And are a lot of them Marylanders? Oh, many are Marylanders. In fact, our, the first artist through our door was Gerald Hawks, who worked only in matchsticks and did so better than anybody on this earth. Mm -hmm. Tell us about Icarus. Oh, the Icarus. Oh, it's made by an artist named Andrew Logan. It um, uh, has pinions out of the rainbow colors of stained glass and thousands of shards of uh, feather wings in its wings that are 15 feet. It's a life-size uh, casting of a model named Roy Brown and it goes up to the, the sun and then as if its wings were melted goes down to the ocean made by Bob Benson, a local Maryland artist. And a little bit about this uh, beautiful uh, red throne here. Oh, Mr. Imagination was one of the most famous visionary artists from America. Uh, and he said the most wonderful thing when he made his thrones. He said, what's the worst thing that human beings can do one to the other? And he said the wise answer was to act as to cause them to forget that they are the child of a king. So he saw everybody as kind of a divine, you know, part of creation. And the throne was meant to remind them of that fact. And you have a current show. Yes, it's a very important show. It's called Human, Soul, and Machine, The Coming Singularity. And it looks at technology, the blessings of technology. We all love our, you know, little phones. Uh, but also, what is the downside and the extreme danger as computers get smarter and smarter, but perhaps the intelligence that guides them gets no wiser. Most unusual and fascinating art museum I've ever seen. It's open every day but Monday from 10 to 6 at 800 Key Highway in Baltimore and at avam.org. We had so much fun today. I can't wait to take my family back. It was oh, so it looks, cool. The, the pictures are beautiful. Beautiful pictures there. Yeah. I'm guessing also we saw just a small amount of what was oh, in there. Oh, yes. They have three buildings. Wow. And we, just, we were just in one. Okay. So. Great. All right. Thanks, Great. Galen. You're welcome.